There's all kinds of different types of watercolor. This is a Winsor Newton watercolor. I have a little travel brush that goes in it. This is a travel version of Winsor Newton. It has little pods in it. This right here is gouache. Gouache is a lot like watercolor, but it's just brighter. Um, and I think I'm gonna use this to paint my new paintings. I was trying to find my other one. Oh, and then remember, you can always, when you're first starting, you can use Prang. I use Prang all the time with all of my students, but you can see I have it at home. I use it here at home. And it's really bright, a lot like the gouache colors. So that's just another way of going. It's always good to spray water on the dry watercolors before you get started. So I'm using a, um, looks like a number eight round brush, because basically I'm just going to, I don't know, I don't really know how I want to do the watercolor. All of them are going to be a little different. So I'm just gonna put some water on here and what's a fun color? I love this color, I don't know why. But in this gouache, I don't even know what the name of any of these, any of the colors of this gouache because I scored them out a long time ago and I don't know, I'd have to go find the tubes to find out what the name of it. I love this color, I don't know why, it's just kind of a different, it's in between like a red and an orange. You would think it'd be red orange, but I don't know that that's what it was. It's actually called. Anyway, I just I like the I like the color of it. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on here. And I want I want it to bloom to bloom out. See how it kind of blooms out into the water. Basically, all I'm doing is just putting marks on my page. I'm not really sure what I'm, what kind of marks I'm gonna do. I'm just, if you put one color on your page, you gotta make sure that you add it somewhere else. It needs to be on the page at least three times. So if I'm gonna add this purple, I gotta make sure that I don't just pr have purple in one spot. I wanna make sure that I'm adding purple in more than one spot. By adding the color in more than one place, it makes the painting have balance and harmony. And we're just kind of playing around with the colors to learn what do we like, what do we not like, So I'm mixing up a the yellow and the green and it's gonna be this bright, I don't know, what is that, chartreuse? What is that color? Am I saying it right? Basically, I'm just putting marks on my page, cleaning my brush, going in with a different color. Because we're playing around. We're playing around to see what do we like. What do we, what do we like? What do we don't like? Do we want stripes? Do we want dots? Maybe I want to put some dots.
want to try to put, let's see, let me get a clean brush and colors. Sometimes you can get it to run. That's kind of fun. Get it to kind of run together. Ooh, I like that combo. This purple and that. That's really pretty. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. I, I expect that to happen. That's fun. What a sweet little happy accident. Something else that can happen is if you haven't taped down, you don't have to tape everything down, but if you haven't taped down your paper to the table, you can see right here the variance of color because, you know, the, we put it down, it was watery, and then it ran to the center, so it's darker on one side than the other. I'm gonna kind of pull it up to the camera so you can see it better which is something that you may want to do, right? Because I didn't tape down the page, the water is starting to buckle the paper and that causes this effect. If you want more control, then you can tape down your paper so it doesn't buckle. For me, I really like the watercolor to kind of have a mind of its own and that's why I don't tape down the paper. I want it to be more spontaneous and free. If you love what you see, hit the button below, subscribe today.
at one point in time, you just have to stop. I mean, you can overwork your painting. So I think I'm going to let it dry and live with it and see if I want to add anything later or not. So I'll see you in the next video.